The tourism industry was one of the badly hit sectors following the outbreak of COVID-19 in the year 2020. Hotels in Ghana recorded low patronage, with many folding up. At a short event in Accra, President Akufado says the Tourism SME grant will cover some thousand entrepreneurs within the sector whose jobs were affected by the pandemic. The grants will assist operators in the sector modernize and improve tourist sites, restaurants, tour operations, event organization, and related businesses to become attractive and competitive. The grants are in three categories, namely COVID relief support, SME support, and site upgrade. These are intended to help transform the tourism sector to stimulate economic growth and create jobs. It is expected that 1,500 SMEs will benefit from the grant support. In 2021, the government through the Ministry of Tourism, Arts and Culture dispersed a CD equivalent of 10 million United States dollars to some 1,400 SMEs. This year's grant will target some 60% women as beneficiaries. Because the majority of the operators in the sector are female. I commend the World Bank for supporting this initiative through the Ghana De Tourism Development Project. And we continue to value the partnership of the World Bank in our development journey. Country Director for the World Bank, Pierre Laporte, expressed confidence that the Ghanaian economy will bounce back following the IMF intervention. He says with the involvement of external forces, fiscal discipline will be achieved. Yes. We at the World Bank, we believe that it is a perfect blend between developing public sites and the right capital injection into the private sector SMEs, backed by adequate marketing drive, traffic to Ghana, that will result in the ultimate growth of the tourism sector in the country. In this period of global economic crisis, it is the right time to take calculated and strategic steps to review and grow our economies. Indeed, it is the time for development partners to show good faith with struggling economies. The World Bank Group stands resolute and prepared to go the long haul with countries like Ghana. And I urge players within the tourism value chain to reciprocate this gesture from the bank toward the tourism development project by ensuring demonstrable results at the end of the day. Despite the current macro fiscal challenges, we are confident that Ghana will rise through it. Reforms in critical areas like public finance, key sectors reforms, as well as investment climate will need to be accelerated. But uh, we have full confidence that under the leadership of President Akufuado, Ghana will turn the economy around.